Well, God bless you. I'm so excited, wherever you are, that you have decided to tune in to this video. Well, you know what? I want to share something with someone that I think would uh, help you. I think would bless you. Uh, if you can just get in the spirit with me for a few moments and ask God to bless you as I speak into your spirit. Have you ever had what I call a flesh visit? Yes, as Christians, as saints, we can act all holier than thou. But the devil is a lie today. Be free from acting like you never had a flesh visit. A flesh visit is anything that comes into your mind. It's like a flashback. It can be anything that wasn't good for you. For example, a relationship that many of you that was tied in, even married couples, you was tied in, you was bound up in, but somehow you broke free and you got free from it. And we give God the praise and we give God the glory for bringing you out. But you know what? Sometimes you can be going on by your day, minding your own business, and here comes a knock. And it's the flesh visit. And that knock is coming to romance your mind. To make you feel some kind of way. Like you miss if this is the case. As if you miss this individual. Well, guess what? Your flesh really does miss the individual. Or individuals. Or whatever it may be. But you know what? Continue to stand on God's word. And continue to speak deliverance. In your mind and continue to renew your mind in the word of God. You know, Jesus said something so powerful and I'm getting ready to close. He said in John chapter 17, I think it's around verse 17. He said, Father, sanctify them through thy truth. He said, thy word is truth. So I want somebody to know, just continue to stand on God's word. When that flesh comes to knock on your door. You let the flesh know that sanctification lives here. Righteousness lives here. Holiness lives here. The word of God dwells here in the name of the Lord. Well, Father, I just thank you for those that are watching. We pray your word. We pray your, your sanctified word upon our minds, upon our hearts, upon our lives. We will forever trust in you and lean on you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's people said, Amen. Well, God bless you. Until I see you next time.